Ms. Dew? Um, good evening. Um, I will highlight our existing industry spotlight. Our um, framed articles were not quite ready for us to make a presentation tonight, but um, we will definitely have those ready in those um, businesses represented, represented in March. In January, the article that ran following our board meeting um, uh, highlighting the existing industry was Hunt Industries. And then in February, which will be printed this Sunday, is Outforce Logistics. Um, this obviously has been a great opportunity for us to um, spotlight our existing industries and the assets um, these companies and entities have in Valdosta. Um, kind of look at what activity is going on within their industries um, and what goes on um, in their world. Um, we've been excited about it. It's been a great and positive feedback. We've gotten back from and we'll continue um, to work with about Austin Daily Times um, this, the continuing of this year and next year already. Um, we have a commitment from Jeff, the publisher there, to continue that. Um, and it's also a great opportunity. I know we, we just completed a marketing review with our consultant, but it's also a great opportunity as we sit there and talk with the companies. We're getting a lot more into a marketing review on what you know their company um, you know, opportunities are and the great opportunity they have about Asta um, for their company. So that's been helpful as well. Um, community outreach we did attend um, and represent the development authority at the Lowndes County Bird Supper, which was in Atlanta, and had the opportunity to um, meet with our legislative um, and rep representatives up in Atlanta. Um, also, at the same time, the Georgia Economic Developers Association's legislative luncheon took place. Um, we are in preparation for Friday morning at 9 a.m. where we will have a ribbon cutting ceremony for Fussell Tire service. Um, and so there's been lots of planning going on to get that um, ready. And we hope you all will be able to join us. Um, we have created new um, business park profiles, which I sent the final approval today to the printer. So hopefully um, we will have hard copies of those in March. Um, and spend a lot of times, a lot of time creating a, um, that piece. Again, Mar in March, um, Georgia Trends publication features a spotlight on Valdosta. We partnered with the city of Valdosta to do a full page ad when we split the cost there. But that um, campaign for that ad was focused on logistics. This edition will also be distributed at the Georgia Logistics Summit. And we also have several local companies um, partnering with the Development Authority to be a sponsor at the Georgia Logistics Summit for them to build um, network and more clients um, with, with it, at that event. Um, and then marketing, marketing activities um, for the past, for January and February included our legislative trip um, to Atlanta and the Georgia Quill Hunt, which took place last week um, with the Georgia Allies. I have a couple of questions, Ms. Duke. When we look at the year-to-date budget positions on marketing, PR says we're $14,000 under budget. I think, I think that usually in February we get our invoice for the Boston Lowndes County Prospector site, mm -hmm. and I haven't received that yet, so I think that may be the... And how, how much is that, generally? It's, it's 12, 12, 12. The, the reason I ask is just that just jumps out at me because it seems that last year we talked about uh, making sure that we exhausted our marketing budget. Um, we never wanted to go under budget in that category again, and we're not going to go under budget. We're using our best efforts, marketing. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just don't. I don't believe. I haven't seen that invoice come in, and that would be okay. The Very well. All right. Any other questions? Mr. Schwartz.